We're here today before the Kraken. Which is a big obstacle. Octopus. Uh, octopus. It's got eight tentacles. Two eyes. And a big heart. That's right. Let's hope at least. Yeah, let's hope it's got a big heart it's, because... Uh, it's been known to destroy ships with one tentacle alone. That's right. And Our well, chances of survival are extremely slim. Slim to none. Slim to none, that's right. We're hoping we're a bit too small for its sight, so if it swings at us, it misses. And we are wearing camouflage shirts, which is a good thing. And then we can confirm its existence. To stand. Shall we get going? Let's get cracking. Ah, well. I thought, yeah, well. So, come on. Come on. Yeah, if we find the Kraken, we're going to die. End of an era, baby. As sad and horrifying as Mark and Dale's death likely would have been, I'm glad they at least died, you know, doing what they love. What I love. Mostly me. Because, as they say in... Mark's little hometown of Paris, Carpe Diem, which, you know, of course, roughly translates to do what you love until it kills you. I think I'm going to put that on their tombstone. If there's anything left to bury, whoa, 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 whoa hang on, no, wait, no, hold me back, or no, no, don't actually, I've got things to do, you know. Things to do, people to meet, cryptids to catch, for real this time, though, a little bit of a reference to the failures that my previous members were. Here we go. Hi guys, everything good? It's just washing my face. Ready to keep going? So we're not catching the Kraken anymore, uh, but we've got a whole day to ourselves at the beach. So we're thinking of doing some beach things, like uh, eating ice cream, maybe some shopping, maybe going to the beach mart. <laughs> Mark's excited. Oh, you got the astronaut. That's great. So it turns out you can't actually just ask for someone's inheritance um, or receive it if they haven't been proven dead yet or if you're not listed in their will. So, we missed a few steps on that one. But, uh, oh, might be on a watch list now, actually. So, we need to be careful about that.
So what do you think of the government? Which one, Stan? Mike, we've done and said some outrageous things together. But that right there might be the best thing you have ever said in your life. All right? You betcha. What do you know about Project Salad? Project Salad? Mm-hmm. We talking like Caesar Salad? Kenya? What else? Uh, cheese, bacon and lettuce? Japanese submarines? What about some bacon, lettuce and cheese? Whew. Donald Trump. <clears throat> when can you start? How about right now? How about yes? All right, we just gotta get rid of some of Mark and Dale stuff. Then you can bring yours in. We'll do our old switcheroo, we can get started. Sweet, All right. good. Terrible, terrible, man. What do you think I have you in here for? <laughs> Excellent, all right. Replacement. Replacement, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these mugs. Yeah, bring in one of my big mugs. Oh, well, I mean, you can keep them, you can have them. I don't, I don't want them, I'm gonna get a big one for me. Yeah, sure, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I mean, they, they don't need them anymore. But they want them back. Why? Oh, well, it's that property stand. Or oh, I hate to break it to you, but uh, it's not much coffee in the uh, Kraken's stomach. Huh? <laughs> I think I've heard this one. The Kraken, Mike. Uh... It's a euphemism. Well, normally, yes. In this instance, no, they've literally been eaten by the Kraken. Stan? Dale? Yeah. Mark and Dale? Dale? Okay. What's happening? Stan? Do you know where I can get a harpoon? I think there's a bait shop up. Are the cupcakes for free? Are they actually? Yeah, they are. Oh my god. I Do I have to buy something? I feel bad. <laughs> really? It wouldn't help. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'll come back next Sunday with my mom. Have a good one guys. Free cupcakes. Sorry? Let's talk about experience. Right, um, I did four years at uni. I've done a few internships here and there. Um, I actually just finished six months at Taronga Zoo. Taronga Zoo? Hmm. Except, Steve, I think you misunderstood the question. See, no, I'm talking about risk. So far you've told me that you wasted four years at uni, <laughs> six months at a zoo, and nothing you've said so far has excited me in the slightest. I I'm sorry, and what are your qualifications? What have you done in your illustrious career that means you can sit up there and speak like you're better than me? Because it seems like you're just an idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, Steve, um, I've actually got a camera there and a camera there with hundreds of hours of footage of you being wrong. You've got hundreds of hours of footage of me being wrong. Even though you've just met me? <laughs> Is this a joke? I'm not laughing. Welcome to Koala Habitat Australia. Oh, What's that? That's the sound a koala makes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's just a dog. It's good ice cream. Oh. That's salted caramel. Absolutely to die for. Hello? Yeah, why? 
No, yes, I'm alive. Why? What do you... Did he have a shaved head? Chino shorts, black, black sneak? Yeah. Alright. Um, no, I'm alive. How did he say I died? A mollusk. No, I've not seen a mollusk today. This week, even. I wouldn't even say I've seen a mollusk in a month. I'd... Yeah, no, I'll go talk to him. Yeah, thanks. Alright, bye. <coughs> so Stan thinks we're dead and he tried to steal my inheritance. And you dropped the ice cream. Hey, um, Angela. 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 Ah, uh, great. How about you come in, come in here, Thanks. for a second. Um, just have a have a seat. Have a seat. That's good. How are you? Good, thank you. You? You know what? No one ever asks. No one ever asked. Off to a good start, Ange. All right. Can I call you Ange? I prefer Angela, actually. Right, that's fine. Ange. Angela. All right. Let's say that I've never worked in the workforce, which I haven't. All right. Sort of always just been doing this. Could you, in your own words, just describe what it's like for me? Um, I used to hand out those pamphlets in the street. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of rejection there. Yeah. I used to do that. Good memories. Uh, all right, let's say that you receive a team member, all right? And I've interviewed a lot of people today, so you're very likely to receive one. Let's say you get into a little argument about, let's say, the other teammate's heritage, and they continue to deny it, despite the fact that you know that is exactly where they were born. Do you continue to press the issue or just let it go? I mean, does there ethnicity have anything to do with the job? Probably would have made him better at it. It's fine. How do you think you deal with failure? In what sort of sense? Catastrophic, life-ending, career-altering failure. Is that a possibility in this line of work? <clears throat> it's almost certain, uh, as proved today. It's actually quite likely. Let's say that this team member who you've been in this argument with, let's say they continue to fail and they let the team down on a consistent basis. Let's say this team member who denies their ethnicity and lets down the team, let's say you have to eliminate them. What does that look like? What's that plan? Eliminate? Yeah. Like death? You said it. Do you like bandanas? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The head scarf, yeah. Around the, around the old noggin? Yeah. yeah. Camo? Is this like the uniform? It something? is almost exactly the uniform. Actually, it is the uniform. And we've got a few spares now. All right. This is an important one. Yep. Tea. Do you drink it? I do, yeah. Mm hmm How much milk? Just a dash. Just a dash? Not like a big glug? It's good. It's good. No sugar either. Oh. Never put in sugar. Dale always used to put in sugar. And milk. Dale. Dale. You know, cryptards or Kriggers? Cryptards! Why would it be anything else? I didn't have a serious word with you, Stan. You have no idea what just happened today. Yeah? I almost lost my life, and you know who did? You know who didn't walk through the room just then? Your friend, Mark. One of your fellow comrades. Where's the body? Where's the body? Where's the... What are you talking about, where's the body? The evidence! You're too caught, exactly, you're too caught up in all the shit and fluff. All the evidence. What's that gonna prove? 
Who cares if we didn't prove that Kraken is real? We lost our best friend! Yeah, we lost! Mark! Mark is dead! What? Down a path. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! He's right there! Get out of it! Mark! No, he's not! What are you, why is he waiting outside? Oh. Mark! What are you doing? You ruined the surprise, gonna, Mark. I parked the car. What's, what are you wearing? Koala t-shirt. Yeah, we got koala t-shirts. What happened? I'm the small koala, and Mark is the big koala. He's the small koala, but the big spoon. And, let me see if I'm getting this right. What I've the heck? These two out Who to try she? and capture the... Well, this is my intern, I'm actually. I'm just here for Hi, a job interview, actually. Hi. So, Hi. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry about this. We're really upset right now. Yeah. Um, you see, Stan's tried to kill us. How do I know that, Stan, before you interrupt? My lawyer called. Snitch. Said some wearing beige pants came about asking about my inheritance. Said I died of a giant mollusk attack. Well, Mark, sounds like your lawyer is on cocaine. Crack cocaine. <clears throat> I'm, um, gonna go. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 that's no, that's no, Thank you so much. Oh, Lovely yeah, to meet you okay. guys. Yeah. I just... No, no, right. no, really. no, 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 you, no, no, oh, hey, 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 touch me. Thank you, thank you Andrea. Yes. Angela, Angela, sorry. Come on. It was lovely meeting you. It was safe to ride. The secretary. I might have parked her in. Well, just like Ang Angela's leaving, I'm wait. leaving too. I'm wait. hanging up the boots. Wait. I'm hanging up wait. the boots. Wait. Shoes. Wait. What? What's happening? We're quitting. Really? Yes. Why? Because you're pathetic. Let's go, Dale. You screwed the pooch, Dan. Are you coming? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? If I had to describe Stanley in two words, um, the words that come to mind would probably be stupid um, and red hair. You're hired. <laughs> you little prick. Oh.